Yes, DIY as fuck. Hi friends, my name is Lori and today I thought it would be fun to just relax, chill out, and do a DIY. Now, I've been doing a couple DIYs lately and I thought it would be perfect to do this edible slime. Why would you want to eat slime? I don't know. But I thought it would be fun, so we're going to do it. I've decided that we're going to make Starburst Slime. Delicious. If you're asking, no, this was not an original idea. Karina Garcia did this, and she's just the queen of all the DIYs. Just praise you, girl. You go. You go, girl. You work in everything that you got. Homie. I wish I could be on your level. I'm not. I will leave the link to her video down in the description below So if you didn't understand what I'm doing right now, maybe if you watch her video Then you'll probably get it more cuz I'm really bad at explaining things if you couldn't tell so Now we're just going to run through all the products that you are going to need to create this DIY edible starburst slime You're going to need um, a shit ton of Starburst, if you couldn't tell. I have about five things, five bars of them, I don't know. I probably did not use enough, but the only reason why you're going to need this much is because you're going to use one color. If you want to use all the colors, you do you. I'm probably going to end up doing that anyways. I kind of want like a giant slime, so I'm like really excited for it. You're going to need a bowl and a saucepan that is smaller than the bowl because you're going to double boil it like chocolate. They call that tempering. I'm so tempered. And then with the magic of the slime DIY edibleness is you're going to need some powdered sugar, which I have and it's everywhere. So let's get on with this edible DIY shit show. Oh yeah, and just to let you know, this is not a collab, because <laughs> I have no friends. Zero. Take one. Rip it up. Now you just... Dump. And you're done. No, I'm just fucking with you. You're gonna have to unwrap all this bullshit, which is really fun. I'm going to get a second bowl. So a little story time. I went tanning today for the first time in a tanning bed. I got a fresh coat of cancer. <laughs> it was really fun. Also, another story time. So yesterday, well, Monday, I went to the gym for approximately four hours. And I got there at four and I left at 8.30. So it was a fun time. And I come home and I eat, I shower, and I go to bed. And I wake up and I go to pack my school bag the next day and I can't find my earphones. And I'm spending five minutes, around like five minutes, just rummaging around shit to find my earphones. When I'm already ten minutes late, I should have left ten minutes ago because I get driven to school and it was already late by the time I left, so you know your girl was late. And it was raining, and it just wasn't a good day. And I walk out, and I'm just like, okay, I can just survive one day without these earphones. I walk outside, and I see the earphones on the ground while rain is pouring, and I realize that they've been there the whole night. I wasn't about to let go of them, so I pick them up, walk into the car, and see if they work. Now I do realize that you could get electrocuted while doing that. Um, uh, so I suggest not to do that. But I checked if they worked and one earphone works and the other one kind of works. Like, not really, but like, I still survived in school. Like, you know what I'm saying, girl. If you're a music junkie and you need music to survive, like me, losing your earphones is probably one of the worst things that can happen. So that was a fun experience. Also on Monday, I did buy Views and Lemonade off of iTunes. I was waiting for it to come up on Spotify, but your girl got impatient as fuck, and she just bought it because 
she ain't patient cause she ain't sorry for spending that much fucking money on some Beyonce bullshit <sighs> alright now that you're done with this bullshit time to go to the stove now that you have water in your saucepan you're just gonna put that on there and turn on the stove to medium high heat and then when this is done boiling I forgot to mention you're gonna need a spoon and you're gonna start putting a little bit at a time the starburst into the bowl and mixing it as you go while it melts They fucking melt. Ooh, it's doing something. All right, so I got some news for y'all. I got an update. I just put the rest of it in the microwave for a minute, and it fucking melted it in like 3.2 seconds. So I don't know what the fuck this double boiler bullshit is, but. We're just gonna finish it off with a double boiler. And then we'll go on to the next step. All right, after the agonizing waiting game, it's finally shitty. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a clean surface. I chose a cutting board. And you're gonna get your powdered sugar. I'm gonna cut the top off so that we can finally use the powdered sugar for its intended use. We've had this powdered sugar for about a couple couple months and I'm just using it now. So. Ah! I'm guessing the more powdered sugar the better. And I've you know I've never actually tried powdered sugar. Mmm, diabetes. I waited for it to cool, but it cooled a little too much. So now we're going to set this aside because you're not going to clean it up. And now we're going to mix it in with the powdered sugar and knead it. This is low-key disgusting. Oh my god, wait. Holy shit! This is like working. I hate that it's working because this means that this girl is... A genius. I am not sure if Karina actually, I hope that's her name, I don't know. I'm not looking at her name right now. Hopefully I remembered her name. I hope that Karina made this because she's a fucking genius. I don't know if she made it. If she did it, then she'll, she might have titled where she got it from in the description, like the recipe that she got. So. I'm just following off of her video. She said the more powdered sugar you add, the more <laughs> thick it will be. And holy shit, this is phenomenal. I'm actually like surprised that this worked. Okay, this was way too much powdered sugar, but it's okay. Dog, shut up, I'm making science here. No. I washed my hands before I did this. <laughs> yeah, sure I did. But if you didn't wash your hands, I would suggest washing your hands before you try and do this and serve it up to people. Both of my siblings came home and said nothing. <laughs> so they're kind of used to me by now. Bro, dog, come here and lick up this powdered sugar. Can dogs have powdered sugar? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. All right, I think this is done. So we made it. It's it hap it's real now. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Two bowls. You will ruin bowls by doing this because it gets sticky and then it gets stuck. But if your slime keeps breaking, just put some more icing sugar in it. Just ice it up. I actually want to test how long this will stretch before breaking, <laughs> so 
Wish me luck. Ow. Oh god. It's a mustache. She's stretching, girl. I'm risking it. No, don't fall on the floor. No, don't fall on the floor. Oh no. So I am not going to measure it because what do you think I do with my time? So I got it to stretch for this jump rope length. Oh my god, it broke. We're back and this does work. This DIY works. Even I can't fuck it up. So you know what actually works. Just so you know, there's a lot of cleanup that goes into DIYs. And it's not the most cheap thing. But if you happen to have these items in your home and you're looking for a some slime of some sort because you're 10 just live it up now since I have the perfect just thing to test the edibleness and it's 100% edible it's just fucking sugar and flavoring and bullshit I'm going to test it out and see how it tastes mmm nom delicious I'm not gonna swallow it. Don't swallow! I'm gonna make it something amazing. You'll you'll see. Guess what I made? That's right, a sledgehammer. <laughs> I found out a perfect use for this. A dog collar! Oh fashion. Oh fashion. Fashion. If you put it on your dog. I would not suggest eating it right after. Maybe you want to wash it. But it's, it's, it looks cool as like a crown. I'm gonna go Chella. You wanna go Chella? Oh, I'm at Coachella. I'm living at Coachella. <laughs> no one's gonna suspect that my orange headband is really a starburst. So thank you guys so so much for watching. I know the camera right now and my face is not really working out. If you did really really like it, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you like me, which uh, who doesn't? <laughs> Arrogant. Please do subscribe to my channel. Um, the links and everything to my other social media will be down in the description. I just wanted to let you guys know that I really appreciate you and I love every each and single one of you. Cause you guys bad bitch. But yes, I love you guys so 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 much. And till next Wednesday. Oh, the store. No. 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 Not a possibility. Okay, now toothpaste time. Wait, I wonder if there's still leftover toothpaste from yesterday. Ew, what the hell? It does. That was freaking weird. 